Hello everyone, I'm back again. My name is Mr. Austin and this is BMF Bushmeat Farms. Okay, and um, today I'm going to be taking you on a different topic today healthcare for your grass cutter. All right, and second topic is going to be what grass cutter feeds on. These two major points are very, very serious. So I want you to pay attention as we go. Stay tuned, I'll be back. Okay, guys, let's go straight to the point, which is healthcare for your grass cutter. Number one point, there is a saying that said that prevention is better than cure. That applies to the human being, also to animals. All right, the point here is that what you need to do every morning is to tidy up your farm. You understand? You need to tidy up your farm. They are animals. They eat, they, they, they wee and all that. So you need to clean up. You need to clean up, you need to tidy up. Make sure germs are not affecting them to avoid the sickness. The truth is that this, some of these animals here, uh, some of them are three years old, and some of them are yet to be three years, and some are still young, but they have not been sick. Do you understand? That's number one point. Okay, let me take you to point number two in healthcare. Uh, whenever you come to your farm and you notice that a particular grass cutter is not active, normally grass cutter is always active, you notice it's not active, it's in one quiet place, it's not eating, others are eating, it's on a separate mood, you know. What you do quickly is to isolate that very particular one from that cage, put that very one in a different cage, then the first thing you do as first aid is to get water in their cup at least half of the cup apply one tablespoon of sugar to that water and get a glucose apply one tablespoon of glucose to it and mix it together and give it to the animal even if it's not eating food at least with the taste of the sugar and all that the animal will drink it and this by doing this the animal will regain strength to be able to eat normal food so you are expected also to add the food for it after giving it the water add food add the grass for the for the animal and wash out for it for some hours the second phase aid you can apply after giving them the sugar water is to get a sugar cane maybe after some hours get a sugar cane and get a charcoal charcoal that we used to cook we cook with charcoal sometimes, okay? Um, grind that charcoal to ashes. You know it's black. Grind it to powder, grind it to powder and cut those sugar cane in pieces, cut them in pieces and uh, mix it in that charcoal, that the powdered charcoal and turn it very well, let it soak all the charcoal. You know it's powder now. So by doing that, after doing that, mixing it together, give it to the animal. The animal will definitely eat it like that because the sugar cane is sweet. All right. Okay. I believe by so doing, the animal will recover. But for more mentorship, you can contact us for more information on healthcare. Okay. Right now, let me move on to the second point, which is um, what are the things grass cutter feed on? What are the possible things I can feed them with? And what are the things that I can easily have access to? even when I don't have access to others, okay? All right, let me start from point number one. In the bush where animals stay, normally what they do is to go and invade farms. They eat cassava a lot in the farm. So if you are the type that have access to cassava, tuba, the, the raw one, okay, when you get them, all you need to do is to peel the back, the peel it, let it be white, peel it off, don't cook it all, the raw one, and it should be white stick cassava, not red stick cassava. There, there are two types of cassava, which is the red stick one is not good for them, but the white stick cassava is what you get. Peel off the, the back of the tuba and cut them according to the size they can eat. Apply little salt to it and mix it together. Okay, what are the things, uh, what are the possible balanced diet when they are eating such things? What are the things you add to it 
Okay. The thing, second thing you can do is to get uh, soya bean, normal soya bean, the raw one. Uh, what you do with that soya bean is that you fry it as if you are toasting granite, toast it, let it uh, just the way granite used to be, then grind it, grind it to powder with a machine where they, where you buy it, grind it, let it be like a powder, okay? Some people also add a little bit of granite, toasted one as well, a little bit of it, mix it together, grind it, all right? And uh, when it's powder this time around, when you now do that cassava, you've prepared it, you've added salt, you now take some quantity of those uh, soya bean and mix it with that cassava. In this, at this point, you know it's already balanced diet, it contains uh, protein and carbohydrate this time okay that is for cassava all right let me move to the second feed that you can also use um there's what they call the uh, pkc the pancake type pkc okay go to any animal feed uh, selling store you can ask them for pkc there is always like uh, a pancake a little bit brown and black mixture and all that so they feed on that and it's very healthy for them pkc all right the second uh, the third one again that they feed on uh, is corn raw corn right so you can mix a corn with the pkc when you are giving them um they will enjoy it more right um, um another thing you can feed on that is more accessible for everyone is ugu you know ugu for we use in our soup for vegetable your ugu stem the stem that the market women do sell okay ugu go to the market women tell them that okay after selling your ugu please give me all those stem you know let them gather them for you put it in a bag for you anytime you come around you pick it up ugu stem grass cutter enjoy a good stem as well okay you know corn all these women roasting corn by the roadside and even even in front of your compound and all that tell them okay all those corn hearts that they used to remove before they roast the corn those back that they used to peel off okay let them gather it for you as well you can fit grass cutter on them very very cheap very things you can get without money these are what this animal can eat on okay points okay let me move to the next one which is the grasses they fit on if you can see this this is called elephant grass if you can see it very clear it's called elephant grass this is the best food for grass cutter they enjoy it more than anything this is elephant grass this is majorly what I use in my farm because it has a lot of water in it and it's very healthy for them okay um, you can get this almost everywhere around Nigeria it's not very scarce it's, a, it's, all, it's growing on its own in the bush okay it's something you can get without paying money okay this is elephant grass if you can see it very clear all right uh, some Igbo people use it to cook uh, soup all right um, they call it achara soup. So this is achara itself in the name, in Hebrew name, achara. This is it. All right. They, they love this so much. Okay. This is actually what I use on my grass cutter. Okay. In case you are wondering what I'm using, this is actually what I use. I prefer this. Okay. And there's another one. There's another grass they call guinea grass. It's just similar like what I just showed you right now. But it's more tiny and... It's always by the roadside, you always see it. They are very common, guinea grass. You can look for it as well, they feed on it. Okay, there's another secret I want to give you. In case you are in a place where you don't have access to uh, cassava and all that, you can go to any store, ask them for chicken feed. The, the type is finisher match. You know, it's not too uh, powderish. It is just like a match, you know. You can use that with corn. If you don't have access to all these things I'm calling, I know you can get chicken feed anywhere. Alright? It's also good on them. You can feed them on it. 
And then uh, there's another one, oh, you know, sweet potato, okay? It's also can serve like a cassava, you cut it raw one, cut it into pieces, okay? And apply a uh, bit of salt to it with your uh, soya bean mix up. And there you go. Okay, friends, at this point, if you really want to set up your farm and um, all you need to do is to get our contacts from your screen and contact us directly and uh, we will make up this house for you. We have our engineer to make the house for you, tell you the best location in your compound where you can set it up. Are you getting me? So. In a very big scale, you can do 100 of this house, 200. You can set up grass cutter in a big scale, like starting with 200 colony, 100 colony, but you can also start with two colonies. So don't limit yourself. Whatever capacity you can do, you can do it. All right, so contact us. We will take it from beginning and get you uh, to where you are going and as well mentor you, follow you up, make sure you become a successful grass cutter farmer. All right, at this point, my next video, I'm going to be telling you how you can sell your grass cutter, as well as how you can make a barbecue, you know, and also a vegetable roasted grass cutter. <laughs> Very delicious. You need to see that. Watch out. Stay tuned. From BMF, I'm signing out. God bless you. See you next time.